Hey guys, it's Steven from MuayThaiPros.com. Today I'm going to give you guys some sparring goals for people who are just starting off, beginners, even intermediate, give you something to work on when you're sparring. You should always keep your hands up. Now, a lot of times what happens is people will remember to keep their hands up at the start of the sparring session and then two or three minutes in when they get tired their hands will drop down. The second thing I want to talk about when you're sparring is the importance of bringing everything back. So when you jab, bring back your hand and it should go back to your basic guard. A lot of times people when they punch, they'll punch and they leave that strike out and they bring it back down instead of snapping it back into position. When you bring it down, you're leaving your guard open. So it's remember to rebound every time you strike, bring it back to the same position you started in. You need to become comfortable getting hit. Instead of flinching every time someone's hitting you, you need to focus on maintaining a strong guard and get comfortable getting hit because when you spar, you will always get hit. So if you do not ever want to get hit or touched, then don't spar because sparring is about developing timing that can translate into a real situation. So you will get hit, just get used to it. I want you to focus on technique and not power. A lot of guys, especially beginners, when they go in and start sparring, they are very tense and they think of it as almost a fight simulation. What happens when you think of sparring as a fight is you lose your focus on technique and you stop improving. If you can focus on technique, you'll continue to get better every time you spar rather than get concussions and injuries and hurt your sparring partners. So focus on technique and not power. That's another important rule you need to follow when you spar. You should always wear a mouth guard. A mouth guards will keep your teeth in one piece and they'll save you thousands of dollars in dentistry bills if you lose a tooth. So I suggest always wear a mouth guard even if you're not sparring hard, if you're technical sparring, this will help you keep that pretty smile. Focus on your offense and your defense. A lot of people when they're sparring are only focused on what they're going to try and do to their opponent and are not working on their defense and blocking their opponent's attacks. So you always want to focus on offense and defense. Remember 50% of the time you will be attacking and 50% of the time you will be defending. So you need to have a good offense and a good defense if you want to be successful in Muay Thai. Plus you'll save yourself a lot of concussions if you have a good defense. Is it's important to focus on your balance and your control. If you are in a good balanced position, you can attack and defend at all times. So after you've thrown a kick, if you have good balance, you can immediately block your opponent's incoming kick. If you're off balance, you can easily be thrown to the ground. So balance and control are two important things that you need to focus on when you spar. When you're a beginner, you don't want to use elbows or knees and avoid using sweeps. These techniques, uh, if you use incorrectly, can actually injure your sparring partners. You could knee somebody to the face, or you could elbow somebody and actually cut them. So you want to make sure you avoid using any techniques that can actually hurt your opponent. Stay relaxed. Don't be nervous. Sparring is about improving. It's not about hurting your opponent. It's not about proving yourself. Like I said, if you want to prove yourself, take a fight and actually test yourself against a real opponent.